I'm going to try to explain both sea breeze and land breeze to you. Um, I've done it in class, I'm sure. It's a little bit challenging with this drawing program, but we'll give it a shot. Sea breeze starts in the day uh, with the heat from the sun shining and getting to our surface and heating our surface through radiation. And the primary idea behind sea breeze and land breeze is that water will um, warm up very slowly, get hot very slowly, but will hang on to that heat for a much longer period of time. Whereas land will get very hot very quickly, but when the sun goes down, it'll cool off very quickly. So during the day, it's very hot, and at nighttime, it's going to be very cold. Um, water, on the other hand, during the day will be um, very cold. And then after a full day of getting warmer and warmer by the sun, it'll hang on to that heat. And so even at nighttime, it will remain warm. Okay. So um, let me change colors here real quick. Let's try yellow. So because of this, the hot land will make the air above it also hot and that hot air will end up rising. Okay, so we'll say hot air rising and we know that process is called convection. And when that happens, the left over area here where that hot air has risen will create a an area of low pressure. I'll just abbreviate it, low pressure. Uh, the hot air rose and there are very few molecules or far fewer molecules left here and it creates an area of low pressure. The cold water, however, will have an area above it of high pressure. High pressure because all of these air molecules will still be down close to the surface. The hot air rose, but this cold air is going to remain. And so we have an area of high pressure over the water, an area of low pressure over land, and we know um, from previous discussions that high pressure will always travel toward the low. Molecules of a high pressure will find its way to the low. If you recall uh, the video that explained uh, the candle and the glass trick that I showed you in class. Um, you can review that. So high pressure will go to the low. The opposite would be true with land breeze. It's the same process, high pressure going to the low, but we're going in a different direction here. So because the water is still warm from the entire day of being heated by the sun, here it will make the air above it warm. And that air mass will rise and the hot air will be here. And the low pressure will be over over the sea instead of over the land. So here we have the area of low pressure and then over the land the cold air will make the or I'm sorry the cold land will make the air above it cold and create a pressure that is high. And we have a high pressure system over the land. So it's the same process, but just in different places. And so the, the high pressure is going to travel from over the land out to sea. And so since it's coming from the land, it's called a land breeze. And if it's coming from the sea, it's called a sea breeze. Um, OK, so I hope that kind of clears it up um, for you to review. and and. Uh, kind of get it straight before the next quiz. All right, thank you for watching.